Hey everybody, welcome to part 29 of the Let's Play Very Hard Old Faith Tyrant Run. Uh, I did an event, got an Old Faith point, so I did unlock the Morgana recruitment mission, but not going to do it yet. These recruitment missions tend to be a bit tougher than the other missions in the game. We got Red Knight also waiting for us. So we're going to do Beyond the Veil, and after that, then we'll probably do these recruitment missions. And... I want to bring Lanvo in, just because I like my champions, but my Balan is just so much stronger right now. I mean, the gear difference is insane. I have Balan who's just kitted out the ass right now, and Lanvo who still has like a level 1 piece of gear, right? He doesn't even have all level 5 or higher gear, so just... It would definitely be hurting my performance too much to switch to Lanville or Black Knight even, who I was considering bringing, who's also a level down. So I'm just gonna stick with Balin. Um, I mean, he's super strong. Him and Dagonet are both insanely strong with the gear they have right now, so these two are going to be carrying pretty hard. And yeah, we'll just go ahead and do this mission, though before I do, I should probably put some people on the training ground. I forget to do that sometimes. There we go. And now we can go ahead and jump in. Okay, so at the very start of the mission, we do get the Fairy Knight added into our party. And I do actually plan to recruit him. So having him be not too messed up by the end of this would be helpful, but I'm probably not going to be using him immediately. So if he does get injured, it's not a big deal. He's not exactly a meat shield, but if I have to choose between who's going to get hurt, I'm going to have Fairy Knight be the one who gets hurt. For this mission, there's just five different areas I basically need to clear out. It doesn't really matter the order. Let's just start with this one, I guess. This, these ones seem the uh, quickest. I actually do want to kill these guys, because if I ignore them when I go into the next room... I'm pretty sure it's an unavoidable fight, and then these guys will be attacking me from behind, so let's just kill them here. I don't even think I needed a death hex him. These guys didn't have a whole lot of health, so yeah, swept them pretty quick. And there wasn't a whole lot of commentary needed. <laughs> okay, so this is part two. A little more difficult. Obviously, we got the sort of mini boss here and here. I guess all three of them are named elites. But I can hamper them pretty hard, actually. I have some really good CC on me. Actually, we're going to take a step so we can teleport, get backstab here. Also, ice shield. Not quite as good as Morgoss's, but it's a start. Um, let's just wail on the guy while he's down. Excellent. Pretty decent damage. And then we can have Balance split off over here to the right. Um, I think something like this. Ah, we're going to take an opportunity attack. I wasn't paying attention to the orientation. That's fine, though. Let's just take the hit. Yeah, that's okay. He only has 16 health. I don't even need to backstab him. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll just hide out there. Okay, yeah, that looks good. Alright, he died trying to wade out of the desecrated ground. He also died from desecrated ground. He's pretty messed up from it, so is he. Such a good ability. We're gonna slow him, because he is gonna take a step I guess I didn't need to, because if I just shoot him... But maybe I want to shoot someone else. Yeah, I like you. Let's shoot you. Go ahead and get a freeze. 
Let's start working Balan over. He has the shield on, so I can't throwing dagger. So we'll just well, maybe I can throwing dagger him. Not quite. There we go. Stealth, and we'll back up to here. Uh, Mordred. Sure. Might as well get a chain lightning in. Fairy knight will just. 1v1 this guy here in the corner. He should be alright. The mix of magical armor and ice shield makes him surprisingly tanky. That was rude. Um, I didn't even see what killed this guy. Oh, did he have a bleed on him or something? Maybe he killed himself off the bleed? Because I did spend blood hex. I don't see anyone with it up. Uh... Just Thunderbolt, take care of you. Finish you off. Balan kills you. Jump to here. God, we have so much AP now, it's just insane. And... We'll eat the hit. Yeah, that's fine. That was pretty easy. Don't forget to grab the chest. Okay, new Oathstone. Uh, need one of those for Mordred, actually. Now that fight we just did, I'm pretty sure it's one of the tougher ones in this mission, seeing how we kind of just destroyed them. Um, I'm thinking we're not at high risk for the rest of this mission. Obviously, don't want to get too overconfident and make dumb mistakes, but I think we'll be okay. All right, we're doing this fight here. It's a picked fight. Uh, you may notice there's a shrine there. It was a debuff. That's why I skipped it. Uh, we got two chieftains, two moon womans. Uh, okay, not a big deal. Should be able to mess them up pretty easily. That teleport is quite good. Finish him off with a chain lightning, even. Max damage chain lightning on each of them. Let's go ahead and drop this. Dead chieftain. And I think I can just throw and dagger both of these. Yep. All right, cool. I mean, I don't even really know what to say. And but trust me, it is on very hard. I made sure to double check before starting in case the game for some reason switched it for me. Um, we're just, we're just awesome. That's all there is to it. Okay, so this is our first optional fight of the mission. Basically, if you go up instead of down, this is where the mandatory fight is. Um, it starts a wave fight against the Lost. And there's nothing you can really do about this first hit here. When the game first launched, their AP amounts they spawned with was less, so they couldn't do that kind of stuff, but they increased it to make the game a little harder, so... Sometimes you're just gonna get poked and take an unavoidable hit. But we're gonna teleport behind you, avoid that opportunity attack. Definitely ice shield. Let's get a chain lightning out. Can't quite reach, that's lame. Let's just jump to here. Throwing daggers. Actually, let's make the primary one this and secondary one this, because the primary one does more damage. Then we can pop that. Go back into stealth. Let's move to here, because they're gonna want to swarm in, may reveal him at this point. They shouldn't get close to him. And as for you, we're just going to put you in some goop. Nice. They just have such little health. Like, 
I don't even think I've done anything with Mortar the past two turns. <laughs> Okay, cool. So, in this area, I don't know how I didn't start the fight there, but I believe there's two fights we have to do in this corner. There's going to be one on this side of the ruins and one on the other side. Both of them have, like, bone totems, and it's just a bunch of lost. Um, nothing crazy you haven't encountered before. We do have a mini boss here. I think he has a range AoE thing here. Yeah. So that's something to look out for. But otherwise, not, not a whole lot of danger. If we jump to here, take that down. Let's go ahead and chain lightning. Okay, cool. Can one shot the totem with it. Let's just pop it, why not? Stealth. Chain lightning to down the crossbow. That's so low. Um Let's teleport. Let's see, what's the range on this? Eight? I don't think I can teleport close enough to shoot that. Let's find out. We can. He has our shield, he's fine. And now we'll go ahead and slow you just to be safe. And we'll put a desecrated ground here. Just to kind of help protect Fairy Knight from this skirmisher. There's that AoE I was thinking about. Let's just get out of this. You can pop the body. Let's move Balan over. Yeah, I was about to say, honestly, I think he can one-shot him even without a backstab because of all the damage bonuses we have. Though I don't want to eat that opportunity attack, so I can shield charge him, I'm hoping. Maybe from, like, here? Cool. All right, let's... Carefully thread Balan around all these AoEs. Alright, I think that's good for here. Mordred's really the only one remotely close enough to them, so let's go ahead and magic armor. We can force bolt. Um, sure, let's get you. Then let's stun the mini boss. You're about to res, but we do have teleport back. Perfect. Let's go ahead and let's f let's we'll save you for last. We're not in a rush. Let's take care of these ads first. A lot of bodies. I want to make sure do not resurrect. Cool, that's down. If we jump to here. So close. Did I have stigma? I did. Ah, that could have been a kill. I forget to check for that sometimes, and it always bites me in the ass. But I believe we win. Like I said, that was just the first fight. Now we have the second fight around the other side. I do find this fight on this side to be a bit easier. If you come around the back like this, you can see immediately why we have two banshees here and a totem. So I do recommend doing it in the order I did because if you come at this other fight from the front, I mean, you're closer to this totem and this banshee, but I think this is much more preferable. I don't think many people are going to argue with me on that. One totem down. Let's go ahead and stigma you. Or even death hex. That's only 30. We don't need a stealth for that. For the surprise bonus. And we're gonna play a little defensive. They're primarily melee. I mean, this totem's not a big deal. They have one banshee left. But we're pretty far out of range. I don't think the Banshee is going to be able to do anything to us this first turn. If anything, it'll just walk a little closer to us. So we'll just mostly let them funnel in towards us and let them get within striking range of Balin while everyone else just really kind of lights them up from a distance. We have a pretty strong range advantage. All 
All right, so now we have that guy here, and that's a little bit of an issue, but we do have knockbacks. There we go. Right, doesn't get the kill, so no AP refund. A little bit of a dangerous spot for Balan. All right. Um, in that case, knock you over. Move up. Bait attacks. Stun you. Defiled ground. Desecrate ground, I mean. Slow here. Yeah, let's do that. And we can even finish you off with our own Thunderbolt from Mordred. Okay, they can't reach him. You're knocked down. You're stunned. Alright, cool. Balan is safe. Okay, next turn, Balan should be able to get the Banshee, and then even jump to take out the Totem. Okay, maybe not. That Scream got a lot more of my team than I thought it would. Definitely want to prevent these bodies from rezzing. Well, we can jump to here. Kill. Kill. Not enough to hide. That's fine fine because I have shield charge. I will just overwatch here I guess if he tries to move forward. I mean I have the ice shield it's not a big deal but shield down him as he tries to walk by us. The camera didn't pan to it but I heard him go down. <laughs> All right they're both super low health so perfect. Alright, so the deal with this is you can either be nice and let him have the treasure, which means you'll get less rewards, but then he'll help you in the following fight and make it easier. So weigh your options. If you're pretty confident that you can clear through these missions without any issue, don't need any help, might as well go for the extra treasure. So we're gonna tell him that's my chest now. And a strangely high health... Uh, Crossbow dudes here in the back. Treasure hunters with 50 HP. But we're just gonna absolutely lay into them with everything. Whoops. Um, one too far. That's fine. Death Hex. Dead. I like how it did the slow-mo like the fight ended, even though this guy's still alive. Second slow-mo. So not only do we get this treasure chest, but there will be treasure chests in this next fight that you normally just would not get. So as we look at this fight, you can see, yeah, it's definitely one of the tougher fights in this mission for sure. You can definitely see how their help would be useful. We're looking at one, two, three, four, five, six seven knights, three crossbows, and three banshees. However, a lot of them start on the opposite side of this arena, so they really do kind of filter in a little bit, giving you plenty of time to deal with their staggered approach. Interesting, I cannot chain lightning over there. Okay, I guess we're not going to be able to chain lightning on turn one, because I really want to get more than two people with it. I guess we'll just settle for... Actually, we're just going to Ice Shield. We're not going to use any abilities this turn. Offensive abilities, at least, with Morgoth. They have to go through here, so let's go ahead and put the Desecrated Ground like this. Maximize the amount of space they're going to have to run through. Really kind of slow them down. Let's just shoot a shot. And... That's fine. Alright, that's much better. We'll start with Balan. 
down. Just get the kill. Let's jump to here. Can't quite get a kill. But with some help, he should be able to. Really? Whatever. We'll eat that. Stealth. Alright, now that they're all grouping up. Drop a stun on the Banshee. That's why I saved my Thunderbolt last turn. Another Chain Lightning. Let's go ahead and slow for the extra damage. Such a big difference. Blast them. And we'll also drop a range shot here. Don't need to go into melee yet. Cool, that's what I was hoping for. Walked right by him, triggered the ambush, opportunity attack, whatever you want to call it. Takes you down. Alright, let's switch the daggers because that'll actually down him. Start making our way back around. Now we can teleport over here with Fairy Knight. One off. Ooh. Oh, I stole a Banshee down. Can press up with him. I just, guess just bully the Lost Knight with Dagonet. Um, let's actually move Morgoth up. She's, she has Ice Shield, she's safe. Okay, that was actually a really good scream. It, I mean, it did get Mordred, but it was mostly at Fairy Knight. Top priority is making sure these bodies don't res. That one's probably gonna res though. Stigma. <sighs> so close. Can we actually... <sighs> Will it take the damage first or res first? I'm not gonna risk it. We can throwing dag... No, we can't. <sighs> throwing da Really? Thank you. Minus a hundred, oh my god. And we'll put a thunderbolt there. Looking good. Easy. Now we get access to both of these treasure chests. You can see they're not like really high quality ones. It's not like a relic. Green and a blue, so. Seeing what kind of loot you get from here, you can use that to weigh your options if you'd rather take that kind of treasure or just get the help. As we push into the last and largest area, there's a couple fights in here, and I think there's even an optional one. So we could probably get by with only two, but I think there's three that may be tucked away in here. Okay, we do have some unseelie enemies. But it does let us organize over here, which gives us a lot of their backs. We are in a little more of a corner, so there's not really much space we can back up to, but I think we'll be okay. Okay, cool. Two archers down. Always want to try and get rid of the enemy ranged. I think, let's move up one. All right, I like that. Big hit. And I'm just gonna go for it. Shade of Stigma first, but that's fine. Strong turn one against the Unseelie. I think I can kill her with a shield charge. Yes. So much AP. And dead. Just across the map, no problem. 
Oh, okay, that first fight is the uh, only mandatory one. Um, I'm pretty sure there's two optionals then. Let's go check that out. All right, I found one optional and it's not in one of the areas I was thinking of, so maybe there's three. Um, just more unseely. Fortunately, we don't get to start with a bunch of backstabs. Do some positioning. We're not really going to do much with our first turn here on Dagonet. Other than nuke him, apparently. Um, that's right there. And just move Balan over... Wait a second. Okay, cool. Kill him. And he's pretty far in the corner. I don't see why anyone would move this way. Sometimes they do crazy movement so he could get revealed, but I'm hoping he won't. I don't think he will. See, like that guy. He crossed so far over. All right, whatever. Great placement for the desecrated ground. Still have enough for a force bolt. Definitely you. Let's just keep using our range advantage. Yeah, they're getting cooked. The rare double kill from Mordred. If I could have killed him with that freeze explosion, that would have been the best. Second unseely optional fight here, plus some human guys in the back with 14 health, okay. And, uh, that's gonna be this corner here. Two fog knights, that's gonna be troublesome. Two archers. I think opening with the desecrated ground here is not bad. Let's go ahead and sidestep with Mordred. Need one more space. Go back. Chain Lightning has such great range. I kind of want to get clever and jump into here and then go for him. I think actually I just have enough movement to do that. I can just... Yeah. I can't stigma you though. Come here. Perfect. All right, Archer down. Now with Fairy Knight. I don't think he can reach anyone. Yeah. We'll just high shield and like move him over here or something. That double throw went straight into our ice shield. So that was a wasted range stun of theirs. Love to see that. It's Death Hex. Damn. Alright, we'll use your range attack. Stun you. Let's get a chain lightning in. So you're dead. Oh, I can't cut through here? Oh, that's lame. Okay, that definitely changes my... I, I can only... what? Okay, whatever. I'll just do the one dagger, I guess. Move up. Teleport. Get our hidden. Double dagger. You're in... Vul yeah, I used fog form. Lame. Just run away. Okay. Alright, last optional fight. Just a singular mini boss. He does have stone shell and he is ranged, so a little tricky, but honestly not not a big deal. We can mess him up pretty good. Really. There we go. Because things like Thunderbolt ignore Stone Shell. So we're 
primarily just going to peel off a lot of this stone shell stuff on this first turn. Uh, one AP off. Whoops. We'll do desecrated ground next turn. Forgot about that ice aura. He only. S s did, are they all in one spot? It's supposed to be three. Interesting. Alright, last stone shell is gone. Can't go around. It's lame. Alright, just keep standing in the bad stuff. That works for me. Dagonet destroyed him. <laughs> okay, weird bug with the wisps. And um, a shrine if you need it for one of the other fights, I suppose. No loot. But, um, that's all the fights, though. Now, as we hit finish mission, we are going to pick Fairy Knight. I want to be careful there, so I don't accidentally pick Gawain. Gawain really isn't that bad of a choice if you're doing an Old Faith run and you find yourself lacking in defenders. You maybe don't really like Mordred. But overall, I believe Fairy Knight is definitely the cooler and stronger character. Okay, we got three level ups. So that's exciting. And the Relic Oath Stone? Nothing crazy, but does seem fairly useful. And with that, we have a lot of stuff queued up for us. Um, and uh, quite a few side missions now waiting for us as well. Two recruitment missions, and I believe this is the last... Sir Tawellan mission. Probably gonna do that one next. But that will be for the next part. This <laughs> this mission is a bit of a lengthy one. A lot of fights. If you made it all the way to the end here, thank you. I do appreciate it, and I hope to see you in the next one.